right, so I have every laser engraver's favorite thing to do. Love it when the customer brings this to you. Um, hey, here's a picture of a picture of a picture. And uh, can you put this on something for me? Well, let me show you the challenge that I have today because it's, it's pretty interesting. So this is what I was given. of a picture and really hard to tell but it is fuzzy it is it's it's not a good picture um, probably if I had the original I could probably scan it in uh, but here's the clincher guys they want it on this I have an urn and let me shut this off real quick because it's loud I have an urn that they want to put it on. So what are the guesses that this is going to come out good? Um, I'm kind of scared actually. So let me, uh, I want to rework the photo to the point where I think it's laserable, um, which is going to be quite difficult. I know what the laser wants to see and, and the edges that, that I need to make it look like a face, recognizable face at least. So let me work that, and uh, and then <laughs> let's see what I can come up with. This is gonna be fun. All right, guys. So I was able to bring out a lot of the contrast and the areas of the face that I know that I need. Um, I used a lot of my Photoshop tools for contrast, brightness, um, gamma. Uh, gamma off offset and then shadows highlights as well as unmask sharpen um, sharpen and then I worked a little bit with oil paints to kind of smooth everything out so I, it, it's going on Corian for uh, you know some type of countertop material uh, it is acrylic based but it, it, it's still has different colors in it. it it's <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Um, it's not the best material for a photo to go on. So I ran a quick test pattern, um, and here we have it. We have it uh, in light burn, or 10, 10 inches per second, 40 power. I am running. The beam buddy, so that helps me push my DPI up quite a quite a bunch. I'm also running half tone, which allows me to run a much higher uh, DPI as well. So 200 cells per inch, uh, 22 degrees on the half tone angle, 1600 DPI, um, and then of course I'm running my scan angle from 180 degrees, so it works from the top and goes down, so I didn't have to wait to see some of my results. But um, yeah, I'm not even gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you how the test came out. Um, but if it's any indication, uh, we are going forward with the actual piece in there. Uh, yeah. So it's it's engraving now, and uh, once it's finished, I will uh, pull it out. We're gonna have to run a little fill in it. Uh, we use laser sketch. Great product. Uh, this guy is a wealth of knowledge, and uh, yeah, it, great stuff. He's got bricks and he's got fills, uh, paint fills for uh, for lasering. I use it on a lot of the stuff, but we'll get back to this photo in a bit. So we finished up with the engraving, and as you can tell, it came out really good. But. Like I said, we're going to, uh, and that was sarcasm, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the laser sketch color fill for, uh, for lasering, non-porous materials. We're going to put a little bit on there, smear it in, and see what we come up with.
All right, this, this challenge has come to an end. And as you can see, uh, really not that bad considering. And the customer is ecstatic about it. Um, his wife died of cancer and he wanted some way to remember her. And uh, it's exactly what he wanted. So this is just uh, another example of how when you guys get lemons, it could possibly turn into lemonade. Uh, sometimes not that easy. Uh, sometimes you have no idea what's actually being engraved until you throw some fill in it. Thanks guys for, for stopping in and watching the video. Uh, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and uh, we'll keep on making them. We appreciate it. You have a good one.